good evening to all of you welcome to legal matters by sai baba sankara in this video we are discussing an opinion while clashing in fir by madhya pradesh high court judge rusia his name is justice vivek rusia he lamented or he expressed that nowadays package of five cases launch against the husband by wife against the husband by wife and also against the members of the husband's family that is to say misuse of section 498 act with the domestic violence act maintenance so on and so forth in the marriage act so on and so forth and here the judge is vivek rusia Russia. He clashed the FIR in crime number one thirty nine by two thousand eighteen, registered under section four ninety eight A five zero six thirty four IPC of Mahila Police Station in Dhoor. This is you can read the case as Rajan, son of Sharan Prasad Madhur, Rajan, son of Sharan Prasad Madhur versus State of Madhya Pradesh. represented by the station house officer in miscellaneous criminal case number 31596 by 18 decided on 17 8 if we go to the facts of the case the marriage of the so called rajan <coughs> uh, he is not rajan he is kartik <laughs> the marriage of Kartik Mathur and the complainant. It was. It has taken place in the year nineteen ninety five. Right. So, uh, sorry, two thousand five. The marriage has taken place, and uh, they have got uh, two siblings also. The marriage went off peacefully, or happily, for some time later. Differences cropped up. Now the wife filed an FIR, as already told you in two thousand eighteen, that the husband and his family members they are demanding additional dowry, like ten lakhs, additional dowry of amount ten lakhs. Moreover, fifty tulas of gold. And uh, it is funny to say, at the time of marriage, for their travelling from Gurgaon to Indore. they wanted an ac bus this was also supplied by the father of the victim right anyway in uh, 2012 on 36th of 12 the husband went to australia on the company job and he did not come back she stayed with the in-laws in gurgaon and the harassment was there ultimately I reported the matter to the police in the year 2018 case registered luckily 2014 judgment that is arnesh kumar as a state of bihar judgment came and incidentally the police also gave them 41 year notice a case under domestic violence act has also been registered against this man and a case Uh, actually maintenance case 125 crpc they have filed likewise and time and again she has been going to the mahila police station and uh, the parents of this poor man or uh, the so called husband parents of the husband and relatives of the husband one of the brothers is by name rajan all of them have to move around the so called miss uh, the mahila police station and what the police say they say that either you effect a compromise or give the money she wanted otherwise we are going to book a case already so many cases are against you so i grieved by this ultimately the matter came to the my the so called uh, fir it was filed before the high court of in madhya uh, madhya pradesh indoor <coughs> requesting to cash under section 482 crpc of course justice uh, vivek that is vivek rusia he has uh, 
gone through the documents and observed that the allegations of the harassment by the husband, mother-in-law, father-in-law, sister-in-law and mother-in-laws it is nothing but misuse of the law. Right? So, setting up the cases of 498A in a, a so routine manner. So, this is, that is to say, omnibus allegations. In the words of the judge, it is mentioned as uh, omnibus allegations. Therefore, he quashed the FIR. Now, the last point. He cautioned the advocate fraternity act also. High Court says learned members of the bar, learned members of the bar, that is advocates, you have social responsibility, you have social obligation that the fabric of the family shall not be ruined by filing such, filing such cases. The marriage, it has got sanctity, the sanctity should not be demolished. Of course, you may think it in a professional way that when once someone comes and asks, you have to file a number of cases. But before that, as a common man, as a man living in the society, as a learned advocate, you have to think that the social, the work, the so-called sanctity of the family life should not be disturbed. So this is the important observation by the church. So please read the judgment and enrich your legal knowledge. With this, I am concluding. Thank you very much.